Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you my third aluminum cut. On my second aluminum cut, this little dish pocket thing right here, um, I use a, a single flute uh, eighth inch end mill up cut. And this on the second shot, I'm using actually a um, well, second pocket shot, third total cut. Um, two, fl two flute end mill, uh, quarter inch. And I had to get actually a different collet for the thing, so one of these little collets. Alright, hopefully this will make a smoother pattern. I did actually make some improvements to stabilize this so there was less vibration. So, yesterday there was a lot of chatter, you know, when I was, uh, there's a lot of vibration in this thing, but, I mean, you're never going to get good accuracy with uh, linear rods. You need linear rails, they're much better. Alright, well I'm going to zero this out and we'll give it a go. So if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what this whole thing is right here, this is my 3D printed uh, containment system with the lights and everything. So I'm going to turn some air on, got some air, start this thing. to make it quieter but it's still I mean linear rods I might put some springs in there or something to kind of or maybe some sort of like damper on this device right here like a like a sand or some sort of fluid damper I think I had the feeds on that one and I stopped the job, but that was my own fault. But really, it was just a test from this, this, this pocket. I'm going to take this piece of metal out. Well, maybe I won't, but um, you turn it off. You turn the air off. But, I mean, it doesn't look that smooth in this camera, but that's like super, super smooth. And even the ridges are, are nice and tight. Let me get the. Uh, Bring a bit up here. Yeah, I was almost worried about breaking my bit there. <laughs> you know, but that's a carbide bit. Bring this forward here. Actually, uh, so th this that was the actual the one eighth bit with all the chatter before I had fixed a lot of the vibration. Now I'm going to get a smoother finish with a larger bit, but wow, I mean that's I'm going to be able to cut aluminum with this thing. That was the whole point of buying this thing was to cut aluminum. You know, I needed to cut out. I wanted to make a bigger CNC. So I wanted to count some linear rail plates, but I mean, that's pretty incredible for a little 3018. Like it really, it just this camera doesn't do it justice. Like even though it looks like there's like little marks on it, it's like super super smooth. So if I went back with a little bit of sandpaper. So those things would be out in like half a second. So yeah, I got a lot of parts I gotta make too, you know. I, I need to cut out some aluminum for my old Bronco and all kinds of stuff, so. Um, I'm still gonna have to mess with this. This was actually supposed to be a 2D contour. So I had changed bits. So really all I did is I went back and fused in 360 and I changed the bit 
But for some reason, this didn't go right. So, um, all right, I'm pretty stoked about that. So, awesome. Third, third cut aluminum, getting better and better.